yapabilir o bir I have almost 5,000 of these documents. These are the telegrams of the uh, Talat or the certain authorities in Istanbul or Bahattin Shakir's telegrams or the testimonies of the governors or uh, Kaymakams, whatever, in the trials, which openly shows that there were telegrams and uh, which gives direct killing order. The main goal was the cleansing of Anatolia of all non-Turkish elements and this was the non-Muslims and especially the Armenians. Kabul ediyorlar, kabul etmemizi de istiyorlar. Çünkü soykırım üzerine kurulmuş bir devlet uluslararası hukuka göre devlet sayılmıyor. Onların niyeti hep Türkiye'mizde parçalamak. When I grew up in Turkey, when I was there, people can't even whisper about Armenian genocide. There is nothing. You cannot even find information. So most people are ignorant. Artık inçü çenentinir. At harçun mu gare var? İnçü çenentinir. Vardı bir renk cagaspanutyan tem get olan seri. Yani kiden var cagaspanutyun keşpan mı ne? Yer renk çen yer pek öner. Yer renk babernal betçe öraz ilan. Aspesi esen modetsun mu gırnan mı? The official in Turkey recognized the Armenian genocide. They know that's not going to stop there. There is a land reparation issue, a restoration of uh, personal and real properties that were confiscated during the genocide. So behind all the denialist uh, wall of uh, silence uh, is the fear, because they know that they will stand to lose once they acknowledge the genocide. Most army monuments in Turkey have been destroyed. The state has been active in destroying many of these thousand-year-old churches. And army monuments are being destroyed even today. If you go to Kayseri, the central Armenian church has been left there like a token. But the entire Armenian quarter is not there anymore. They've done everything to erase that past, including the names of villages, even the names of animals have changed. Because the animal name has the name Armenian or Kurd in it. So a deer might be a deer of such and such, a deer Armenicus, for I can say. It shows you the level of fanaticism that permeates Turkish society today. It's ridiculous. The civil toplum kuruluşu olarak onun filmlerini boykot ediyoruz. Türkiye'de onun filmlerinin izlenmemesi için bir kampanya açmayı düşünüyoruz. Kendisinin babası işçi olan Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bu tip bir yalanlamayla neyi düşündüğünü bilmiyorum. Her yüzünde Türk ve Ermeni kalmazdı. Bunlar yalan ve iftiradır. Ay Orhan'ın en gerisi. Verçeviz İren at Haydar Artyan Amar İren Masina. Nor tat mı patsiyet? Çişt Kutyan Antep. All Orhan Pamuk said was one reference in the interview. It's not even in his books. He referred to a million Armenians that were killed in his country. That's all in an interview. Under Turkish treason laws, all you have to do, just maybe write one sentence that the Turkish government can perceive as uh, against Turkish government or humiliating to Turkish government, and you will be arrested and put in jail. If you're lucky. It is incredible that Orphan Pamuk now faces three years in prison for what? For daring to even say that this should be discussed in Turkey today. There is no dispute 
that what happened to the Armenian people constitutes genocide. There is no solid evidence that I've seen in 20-some years that the Ottoman Turks intended to destroy all Armenians. The fact that every Armenian wasn't slaughtered doesn't mean that that wasn't the intention of the Ottoman Empire. Because the fact that Hitler wasn't able to exterminate every Jew doesn't mean that wasn't his intention and that that wasn't a genocide. To bring this up year after year after year serves no useful purpose.